Hello watch fans. Beth here watches here and this time for you we have a 1982 Amiga Polaris. Now this is from the launch year and this is titanium and 18 karat gold. So the bracelet and the uh, case are all titanium, a very light, a very strong material. And then you've got this inlay, but it's actually how Amiga did this, they've kept secret. I suspect that molten gold is poured into here, into a um, actually into the case to set it. But I don't know. But it's a very different Seamaster to one that you might expect with a movable bezel. It's the original dial, the original movement, the original signed screw down crown. It's on the original bracelet, which has got a bit of wobble to it. It's not, they're not the strongest. And it has got the gold uh, ingot in there. They are, it is worn. And it's got the extending bit to help you get it on and off. The bracelet isn't the longest. In the photos on the website, it's resting on my wrist. It's not attached. But we have put this also on a lady's wrist because this is only a 31 and a half mil case very fashionable for 1982 it's more of a lady's size now certainly unisex if you've got a small smaller wrist this will fit nicely and it won't look ridiculous i can't wear a lot of modern watches they're way too big but this one's probably just on the small side very nice dial color there is a tiny chip on the glass about one o'clock. Trying to see if it can pick it up. I can't, but it is there. Quick set date, quartz movement, will fit a new battery. Ready to wear and enjoy. Now, there's not been another case like this since these were made. So, it's certainly one of the more distinctive designs of any watch from any manufacturer. It's certainly Amiga. You can see more at berthierwatches.com. We've put a little link in the comments below to make life easy for you. And please consider subscribing if you do like vintage watches. We'll always try and have something interesting to show you.